Hello YouTube, Facebook, wherever I upload this, this is Biohazard again and uh, as promised I'm going to show you all how I uh, imported these objects into VR Toolbox. And uh, you know I don't, I'm not very skilled at 3D modeling or applying UV textures or any, anything like that. So uh, if I can do it this video should be pretty simple. So let's get started. Let me close out the mirror here. <clears throat> So, uh, this is kind of simple, pretty much, and I'll include the uh, location to this and links in the description for uh, all the stuff. You're going to need a program called Blender. It's free. And, uh, just type in on Google, Blender, go to the website, download Blender, pretty simple. Um, this website right here has all kinds of video game resource objects, just all kinds of stuff, and, uh, these, uh, the material files attached to them work, as most don't. So, here's where we start. Um, under the program files Oculus software, you'll find My Dream Interactive. That's the, uh, VR Toolbox files, and you want to go to Props. And I started, the way I deconstructed this, because I couldn't find good information on the internet, I started by doing something simple. So I took Earth. This description file contains information that, that uh, like, here's the object file. If you type in any object that you have in this folder, it will render it in there. Pretty simply. So I'm going to copy this file. And I'm going to just make a new folder. And I'm going to call it uh, video. Video example. Shit. Okay. And I'm going to just simply paste that in there. Now I'm going to go to the internet and uh, let's see. Uh, I've already got my 3D models downloaded, but you can just pick one out of here. It's pretty simple. Um, actually, I'm going to get this carbine right here. It renders the easiest. I actually really didn't have very much trouble with this. Um, so, you know, just download it. And take for like a couple seconds. All right. Here's where it gets kind of tricky, I guess. Move this carbine. Move all of this crap in here. First of all, I need to find the one that I want on the gun. This image file right here should be the UV map that you're looking for. And uh, just forget the rest of it. Because it's not going to load the rest of it. Alrighty, so I've got... The object file, H4 carbine. And here's the material file. Now you can see map KD and KA here. Uh, the reason why this one won't load directly in is because this needs to be just the name of the object. Just the name of it. Nothing else. And it'll render it like that. But unfortunately this MPL file is not gonna it's not supported. So just open up Blender. If you have problems with any object that you try to import, just open up Blender. So uh, basically just download an object file, open it up in Blender, and uh, apply some textures to it. I might skip through some of this. So go File. Now I have no idea how to use Blender, so uh, 
you know, uh, this was pretty simple. I just kind of figured it out as I went. So go to your uh, your folder here. Let's see. Video example. I don't want the object. Drag this out. Make sure you have this little orange outline around your uh, selected object. You go over here. I have no clue what I'm doing. I just hit the new button and then I go to open to add a material to it. Go back to that folder. Click the one. And I'm pretty sure that's all I had to do. I'm gonna put one in here because I don't I want to be sure that it works and I'm not very familiar with the software. So just apply the texture, simple as that. Export object. And uh, let's see, I want to save it as example. Now, don't need that crap no more. Yes, I want to quit. I want to save it. So I don't need the old H4 carbine. I don't need the old uh, MTL file that went with it. Oh, okay. So we don't need that. Don't need that. And um, generally, this thing won't read the file unless your image file is named something that's not so ridiculous. So I'm gonna name this image for simplicity sake. All right, so now you're pretty much done. You need to go into the JSON description file and make sure you match where it says here earth.obj to where it says example.obj like in the uh, folder there and save it. And you can set this, this preview uh, JPEG thing, doesn't matter really. And go into the MTL file And now this image here is image JPEG. So let's just get rid of all of this crap. And save. As simple as that. Now we go to Oculus, launch the VR toolbox, and just wait for it to come open. Alrighty. So if I didn't cut these long parts of the video out where there's nothing in it, it's because I'm lazy. Here we go. You sign in. Exit. Are you sure? Yes. This is my example room here where I started the video originally. I'm going to go to add props. And um, if you use the earth MTL, I mean the earth uh, description file, it'll be in decoration, misc. And there it is. Now, uh, if you know how to use 3D modeling software, it'd probably be better that you scale this down because uh, it's really big when I bring it in, but I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I'm sure uh, most of y'all will have better luck with this than I do, and I hope to see more content. Thanks for watching my video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.